Can you hear me now? Oh, there we yeah. go. Okay. Yeah, we can hear you, but unfortunately, yeah, I, I, we can I, I, still see you. Yeah, that's the <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. Last week, Alex and I interviewed Mark Sargent, a flat earther, Ooh. and he put up the interview on his channel. We thought that we would go through the comments and see what flat earthers thought about us. Spoiler, nothing good. Yeah, they all hate us. I just want to share my pencil before we start. So Hannah actually purposely placed that globe behind her that you can see in the shot. He actually commented on it at the beginning right of the away. interview. He was like, he did. what a beautiful antique globe. You know, I used to collect those before I became a flat earther. I just to... flex maps. Let's, let's, <clears throat> let's start begin. scrolling. Top comment, let's see. The cognitive dissonance is strong in these two. I wouldn't have 10 minutes of patience with them. Yikes. Arguing, yeah. I think is spelled wrong. None of his viewers make comments that have proper spelling. Like, there's not a single comment, I think, with, like, proper spelling or grammar. They Why try to accuse Mark for calling the general public dumb. Anyone listening has listened to the interview. Yes. He, he actually said... The public, whether you agree with it or not, they like easy. They always have. You gotta remember who's out there. And, and I can't stress this enough. The average person on the street the general population, the mouth-breathing troglodytes out there, you know who they are? They make up the bulk of the population. We didn't say that. He said this. So listen to the interview, people. Oh, look player. at this one. The moment these two scientists pause and start to realize that their jobs are really fake. Us pausing to think is more like me and Alex being like, holy crap, what he actually thinks this. Hannah, Alex, you are muted. Mark, it's a rookie mistake. You hate to see it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what this was I meant to know. prove. Yo, this was a nice reply though. Yes, they are quite polite and open to new knowledge. I also appreciate that. Wow, that makes me feel good. Oh, here's one. What do you think they think about you? You, a part of the let's all get along society. Really? Okay, this is incoherent. I'm just, I'm just not going to read this. Let's move on. The indoctrination is very deep on these two sheep. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. But, indoctrination right, or education? These two and others like them will be lost in space for quite some time. I would love to be. That was painful. I don't know how you stuck through it, Mark. Better man than me. Honestly, ditto. <laughs> Why are talking with people that haven't seen your flat earth clues, this was just that? Yeah, that oh, makes no sense. It's painful. Listening to the indoctrinated mind justify the religion of scientism. I empathize, empathize for them. The journey to exit the left brain prison will be difficult and arduous. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I mean, I don't really want to exit my left brain. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a good interview and they were very polite and wheel mannered. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna overlook this mistake because it's nice. Yep. I am sad to see such clever young people indoctrinated and lied to. The system is so insidious. I don't know whether that's a, a compliment that's a or a backhanded compliment is what that is. <laughs> Poor little eggheads. They may ne never know how cracked up their thin little crumbly theoretical scientism shell is. Man, there's some puns in there. Like it's Before you guys continue, can somebody tell me what scientism is, please? What is scientism? This. Oh my god, they say too much, too much, too, too, too much. They say yeah. too much, I think. So they are not sure of what they are talking about. This chick claims to have science, yet she's in a pseudoscience field. I don't even understand what this means. I don't understand what that means. Is I the think chick that Hannah? The chick is me. And nice. I think that this person is confusing astrophysics and cosmology with astrology because astrology Absolutely. is pseudoscience and this comment makes this commenter not look so good. Gary Reed, I am an engineering physics grad from U of T. That is the most irrelevant comment. Like, are you saying you believe in flat earth? Was I, I your TA? Where did I go wrong? Please talk to me if you believe that the earth is flat. My brain is being deformed listening to the explanation of gravity. Good, uh, maybe you're grasping it. <laughs> My brain was super deformed the first time I heard that uh, 
like we don't space time is a four dimensional sh- like continuum and like mass essentially deforms space time such that things essentially still try to move in straight lines but in a deformed space straight lines are curves and so things still move flat but in deformed like it's like you go straight in a car but if the car the, the road winds you got to turn you can't go straight but you are still going straight okay locally you are still going straight but the yeah. road turns so you got to turn mark Get you out. lost it <laughs> the exact point of 3511 and you gave the dumbest answer sometimes i feel bad <laughs> feel bad for you but then i see how biased you are and it just frustrates me cuz we're trying to help you understand huh this is not one of us he says we won that's a positive Tre- trevor trevor we won like- bro we won at 3511 is when i posed the question of mark was saying that the sky is cgi And the reason that we see different stars in the northern hemisphere versus the southern hemisphere is because we have different instances, okay? We're like Holy people are programmers. Shit. There are different class instances of the same class, okay? So of course. we all see different things in the sky. And that's when I proposed to him a little paradox as I said, if I look at the sky and I don't take my eyes off the sky and I travel all the way to see someone else in Australia, without ever taking my eyes off the sky so that we're now looking at the same patch of the sky are we going to look at two completely different things and mark said yes the comment section insults about the scientists are cheap and petty yes the interviewers are young and operating from a certain amount of indoctrination but i tip my hat to them they were not insulting at all respected mark's mind and seemed genuinely willing to hear him out the comments the comment insulters just the are just the flat earth version of the two dudes that weren't brave enough to show up to the interview. Gosh, Trevor, Trevor, would you like to respond? Okay, it's not just that we were afraid, it's would be too many people interviewing one person. I would find it very hard to have a civilized conversation with Mark because come from a certain angle of uh, hard work and I only feel that people who try to find cheap versions of reality for their own for their own happiness are people who don't really want to fight the fight and they don't really want to do it the hard way they just want to create an alternative in which they are gods and kings and they want to live in that world and rule that world and if we do not want to believe in that 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 world exists they hate us 100%. I ju- I just also want to quickly point out that we were I, I am slightly not that open to conversation because I come from a country of 1.3 billion people and I've had this conversation multiple times with other people. It's something which transcends all cu- cu- like like uh, culture is you know. We should start a we yeah. should start a we should start a we should start a drink I think we should start a drinking game every time Bursik stutters where we watch every beyond the big bang video that Ganjan is in and we should take a shot whenever he mentions that he's from India a country of 1.3 billion people i think these characteristics about you it is from that india is... knows the population of this country kid was trying to say there's no blast crater because of air current going downwards on zmg as if the dust will fall back exactly in place plus there's not meant to be air on the moon <laughs> completely tries to discredit who we are you know by calling us kids i see this in a lot of the comments that they're just saying all oh, these aren't real physicists they're guys students. i hate you when you call them kids they're my kids cuz i taught them they're not your kids here's a good one what's the link to their video so i can hear the ending of this it got cut off if you're watching this and you know about our channel you can click right here we invited mark to come visit our physics department and learn about science we feel like maybe He just didn't get the opportunity to learn science so he turned to flat earth thing. I do want to point out that in spite of whatever we say and all the fun we make guys we have respect for Mark Sargent as a human being. We do not respect of any course. of his views but I do think that he was very polite to come to the show and actually talk to us and I think that is actually very nice of him, nice of him because he as a person did not have to dedicate his time to us. Although 100%. 100%. So. I would also like to add that Mark Sargent was a very pleasant person. I yeah. just think that he's somehow been misguided. Yeah. And Agreed. but I do want to say that he was very pleasant to us and I appreciate very much him taking his time almost 2 hours or over 2 hours to talk to us. In conclusion, me and Gunjan had massive FOMO for not being able to interview Mark Sargent, but we'll be back hopefully as viewers jump ship to our podcast cuz we're giving the real deal on science beyond the big bang everything you want to know please join our scientism cult i like it i want to be the god man here